Sandals are an old technology. They have been around for thousands of years. So Luna did not develop the sandal, but they have modernized it for outdoor use and especially running use. And their technology has often been copied, but never bettered. Like many people, my introduction to barefoot running was the book Born to Run. Now, there's endless stuff that's been written about this book, said about this book, but at the core, it's a great story. And if you've never read it, I would highly recommend reading it and enjoying it. It's one of those books that I'm actually kind of jealous for people that have never read it because they get to read it for the first time. And I remember the first time I read it in 2009, how just enthralled I was with the characters and everything about the book to the point where I went out, bought a pair of Luna sandals soon after I finished the book and got started in barefoot running. Prior to that, I was a heavy heel striker. And over, over the years and the introduction to barefoot running from Born to Run, I learned to run forefoot, barefoot, whatever you want to call it. And I think my running practice has gotten stronger because of it but I credit it back to Born to Run. I think a lot of other people do as well. Now, this is a subject, Barefoot Running, Born to Run. I'm gonna go much deeper in and content down the road on this channel. But for the sake of this video, in Born to Run, there's a few key characters, but one of them is someone called Barefoot Ted. Now, if you've read the book, Barefoot Ted was the, the Vibram Five Fingers guy. Barefoot Ted, like everyone else in the book, is a real person. And Barefoot Ted is the founder of Luna Sandals, which he founded, um, you know, right around the time that Born to Run was published. Now, this photo is quintessential Luna mythos, really. And I'm going to put a card on the screen and a link in the video description of a video of Ted telling the origin story of Luna and of this photo that is worth watching. I highly recommend if you've never heard Ted talk or tell a story, go watch this video. Ted is a unique individual. He's amazing. He's a great storyteller. He's endless energy. And he really just can tell you the essence of the brand in that video. We're going to talk about two of Luna's products. They, they have a bunch of different outsoles but essentially they have two types of sandal. This is a mono winged edition. Uh, the mono is their, I believe their original sandal. I think this is the, this is a brand new one. This is the original sandal that I remember getting from Luna. This is their do anything, go anywhere sandal. And what this is, is the winged edition are these sort of uh, pillars that you see here that simplify the strapping system. So when your foot is actually anchored in this shoe, there's there's one continuous strap. It's just a lot easier to kind of lock in. It's a lot simpler to kind of deal with and adjust. This is sort of the just for anyone, casual to hiking to running sandal. You can do everything in this sandal. Like all Luna sandals, this has a Vibram Moreflex outsole. This pattern is unique to Luna. Luna, Luna has always worked with Vibram. Um, this Vibram out mid outsole, Luna just calls it a sole or a base, um, is, is an EVA material, but it is not cushy. It is not soft, but you're running in a barefoot sandal. So you don't really expect that. I mean, I wouldn't expect that, but I will say the Luna material, there's a few things that set Luna's apart the way they feel and the way they run. The Luna Vibram material is very dampening. Not that if you're running barefoot or in a barefoot sandal like this, that you're looking necessarily for uh, a soft, cushy experience, but it doesn't have to be harsh either. And the Luna Viber material really has a dampening effect. And this is a Venado. So this is the, the road running sandal. This is the one I spend most of the time in. And you can see it's considerably thinner, but it's the same um, base or sole material, same Vibram material, it's just thinner. So the Venado is a nine mil stack and the Luna uh, Mono is a 
11 mil with 4 mil lugs. So you get 15 mil of material here. Now, a lot of other barefoot sandals or running sandals will try to be as thin as possible. They will be thinner than this. I've seen ones that are maybe two to four mil thick. And again, Ted tells this story in the clip that I linked earlier in the video about the goal of a sandal to the Copper Canyon Indians, to the Tahamara Indians, is not about getting the thinnest material. Because if you're gonna run barefoot, just run barefoot. But there's times where you don't wanna run barefoot or you can't run barefoot because it's, it's too hot, it's too rocky, it's too sharp, it's whatever it is. Doesn't matter how calloused your feet are, you still want some protection. And the idea of the, the sole on a Hirache sandal is the idea of portable ground. You're carrying portable ground that has an optimal landing surface for your foot with you no wherever you go. So if you're running in a running sandal, your foot's free to move around, it's free to flex, it's free to splay, and then you have the optimal ground that you're actually running on. So the idea of portable ground is really what a Luna is about. It's not about getting the most minimal flexible midsole. It's not about that. It's about providing the best portable ground for your foot. And Lunas do that better than anyone because of the Vibran Morflex, but also one of the key differentiators of Lunas is the footbed material, which is Luna's proprietary material, which they call MGT or monkey grip technology, which is this hexagonal uh, material that you'll see here. Now, this is my Luna Venado, the thinner one, with over 500 kilometers on it. And you can see between the brand new one, Never Run In, and the uh, one that has considerable amount of, of miles on it or kilometers on it, you can see that the material is still there. It doesn't rub off. It doesn't wear in. The hexagonal pattern doesn't go away. Um, a lot of other running sandals that I've run in, whatever their footbed it is, whether it's suede or a, a synthetic material, after, I don't know, 100 kilometers or so, it's gone. It, it just sort of rubs off or it, it sort of smooths out and polishes out because of the friction of your foot that it just might not its way and be there. And therefore you get sort of a very slappy feel. The midsole doesn't really stick or conform to your foot. So you're always getting sort of a slappy feel and then your foot never feels firm in it because it's always moving around. You don't get that in Luna's whether they're brand new or they have a ton of kilometers on them. And that I think is one of the things that makes Luna's feel so sure-footed when you put them on. The other key thing, and you can really see it between this one. So this is a brand new Luna Venado and you can see how flat that midsole is or the sole. What happens with Luna's is when they're brand new, they're very flat. When you run in them, they conform to your foot. And this is really what makes these special. The fact that these conform to your foot so much. Again, this is one with 500 plus kilometers on it. And it's now customized to me, to my foot, and it feels incredible. I actually think this is why I prefer ZoomX foam over really any other super foam, because ZoomX will cradle your foot and it does conform to your foot. Very similar to the what's going on here with how this conforms to your foot. And after running in these for almost 12, maybe 13 years, thousands of kilometers, I value that. I value that considerably. Now, the other difference between this Venado and this Mono, again, like as I said, these have the wings or the pillars and it has the strap system. This has the traditional or 2.0 strap system, which is the same strapping, but as you can see, it wraps under you know, under the sole and it's all sort of, again, it's a one piece thing. I like the feel of this one better. And not only do I like the sole of the Venado better, but I like the strapping, the older strapping system. It just feels more minimal. It just feels more free. I, I don't feel the pillars. This feels a little bit more like a Tiva to me, which is fine. That's good. There's no, no problem. This just feels very disappears on my foot and I really value that. I will say that this traditional system, strapping system is a little bit harder to dial in. It takes a little bit more effort to get it dialed in and you can kind of see that here. 
Um, there's a lot going on when you just get them out of the box, but the beauty of this system is it just, it all just sort of molds to your foot. Last thing I'll say is that this is a brand new Venado 2.0 and the Venado or the, the, the older non winged strapping systems come with this third strap, which is, they call the tech strap. I have rarely ever used it, but what it does is it, if this sits on the back of your ankle, this sits on the front of your ankle, and then this is on the top of your foot, it just gives you a more locked in feeling. Um, I tend to keep these fairly loose. <laughs> I, uh, I like the fact that this is barely there and there's not, I don't feel a lot around my foot. And the strapping system is so well designed. This clasp is a very Luna thing, the way they design this. They refine this clasp over the years. Again, Luna has taken essentially what's a very old technology and they've really refined it into a very modern package. So how do I use Lunas? Now, if you watch this channel, you know that I'm a Nike guy. You know I like my super shoes. And my current rotation is, you know, Vaporflies and Invincible 3s and uh, Streakflies. You know, I'm fundamentally running in a very modern, uh, normal rotation. But the other shoe I always will make a point to run in is this, and, and exactly this pair. This is the pair with over 500K on them. Now, I make a point, no matter where I am in the season, to run in this at least once a week. Mostly easy running. Now, there's a few benefits that I love about this for easy running. The first one is, this is a shoe sandal that I can put on and performance is gone. Like I don't think about performance and that's not a negative thing. I can put this on and I can go for a run and I can just focus on the joy of movement and running. I don't need to worry about metrics. I don't need to worry about performance. I just want to go for a run, put these on. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And a lot of easy running, you want a shoe that's just going to encourage you to go run, but also not run fast. You just want to go run. So when I have this on, I just want to go run. I'm not going to look at my watch. I, I never run with a phone or, or AirPods or listening to podcasts or music. I'm, I, I always run, you know, sort of in silence because that solitude is something I really crave. But I do use running watches. But when I'm in this, it all sort of disappears and I just go out and run. So easy runs, primarily use that for easy runs. You know, anywhere from 8 to 12K, I don't really need to do much more in there. Um, that's sort of the perfect amount. And I feel a lot of benefits from that. So on those easy runs, another thing that I really pay attention to is that this is an amazing stride and form diagnostic. So if I'm running in max cushion shoes too much, or, you know, even vapor flies, if I'm just running too much in very high stack soft shoes, my form can, I'm not going to say fall apart, but it can get sloppy because those big, thick cushion shoes can make it easy to just sort of smooth over some problems in your form. If I feel like my mechanics are breaking down or I can feel like a, a soreness that shouldn't be there somewhere, like I'll go take a run in these and within one or two K, I guarantee I'll know what my problem is or what I got sloppy with in my form. Um, they are an amazing diagnostic to understand your running form. Whether you need to fix something or not, they're amazing to just understand how you run. And if you specifically want to work on something, like you hear me talk a lot about foot strength, leg strength, leg stiffness, this is another amazing tool for that. Shoes are tools. This is a tool. And it's amazing for that. So this is where I think any runner can benefit running in something like a Luna sandal or a barefoot shoe. It is that diagnostic of form and it's also running for the joy of running, not worrying about what's on your feet, just go for a run. This is exactly what I use these for. The other main purpose I use Luna's for is my recovery runs. I do almost all of my recovery runs in this sandal. If I just finished a race, like a marathon, maybe I'll take a day off from running, but that first run back from 
post-race will always be in these. And that may seem counterintuitive because I think everyone thinks, oh, recovery run should be in the biggest, softest, cushiest shoe ever. That's fine. There's a time and place for that. There's a time and place for a big, cushy recovery shoe with a lot of rocker that just sort of propels you forward or helps you roll forward so you can shuffle through that recovery run. I do have that. <laughs> I have done that before. But I found that this is just a much better vehicle for me to do those recovery runs in because while I might be sore, I may be tired, that sort of diagnostic of form will come out very clearly doing recovery runs in this. And also I find since my foot can move and flex so naturally in this, that it starts to stretch out those soreness, that tightness, it just starts to work out all the kinks much faster. And those recovery runs only need to be five, eight K max. I mean, they don't need to be long runs, but if I'm doing an Aluna after like that five K, I feel everything's loosened up. And then I can get back to training in, you know, a normal rotation. So there you go. Again, I think everyone can benefit from running an Aluna. Shoes are tools. Luna or any kind of barefoot shoe, frankly, is another tool that you should have in your toolbox as a runner. Now, let me know if you run in Lunas or any other sort of Harache style sandal or any other barefoot shoes. Let me know your experience with that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you are new here, subscribe. You'll see more content like this pop in your feed. Not necessarily barefoot running, just running in general. Um, and if you've been around here for a long time, drop a like on this video because it helps it helps this channel continue to grow, which is great. And I would greatly appreciate that. And with that, I will see you in the next one.